Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, it's the end of long day and my talk uh, will be really easy, at least much more simple than previous physics talks and ideas. Yeah, it will be really baby level. Uh, and my interest to, uh, interest to the subject uh, arise first uh, when uh, several years ago Joachim uh, Anlind came and gave some talk and then uh, 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 Jens Hoppe gave another talk and we kind of uh, tried to understand what is going on so it's just I'll tell you. Uh, so, uh, so just it will be really for everybody, no a priori knowledge of anything about quantization uh, in a kind of geometric sense. Suppose we have a, a compact uh, C infinity symplectic manifold of dimension will be 2D. Later it will be just 2, but at the moment it's 2D. And then uh, uh, quantization should associate it a Hilbert space. Uh, when maybe you have some integrality condition, or you can rescale form, you get scale phase depending on Planck constant, Hilbert space. Uh, the dimension of the space uh, is uh, 1 over 2 pi I h bar to power d and integral over m omega d times d factorial plus 1 plus small o 1 when h bar goes to 0. So it will be rough, roughly volume, uh, volume of symplectic manifold. The construction is not canonical, but still. And uh, quantization means that for each function on manifold, you associate uh, an uh, self-adjoint operator, uh, uh, operator f hat from h bar to it itself, which is self-adjoint. It's respond to uh, fact that this. Uh, um, uh, function was real, and uh, the main thing is that uh, if you get two functions f1 and f2, and consider product of these two functions, then it will be quantization of the product plus a uh, small correction uh, i h bar for two f1 f uh, hits Poisson bracket plus of h bar square. Okay. Just put the hat uh, Head, yeah. Again, the head, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you should get such uh, 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 thing. But, uh, but now I'll do something a little bit not uh, uh, standard. For any function from a uh, uh, complex valued function whose absolute value is equal to 1, so it's kind of mapped to u1. You should associate a unitary operator. And, and uh, the rules are similar. And here I took uh, H bar and consider Poisson bracket of logarithms. Logarithms are not uh, uh, uniquely defined, but locally defined up to constant. But Poisson bracket is well defined, so it makes sense. Again, plus O of H bar squared. So you get uh, 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 such thing. And yeah, so what are kind of basic rules? So H bar of Poisson bracket, it's more or less the same as commutator of uh, operators. And also, uh, I write a formal for dimension, one can write that uh, 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 1 over 2 pi h bar to power d integral over m uh, omega d over d factorials some function f is uh, again very close to uh, trace of f hat. Uh, so it's a basic rules which we have to 
you assume that h is finite dimensional? Yeah, it's written. It's it's a volume. Yes, yes but I, I want to be sure. Yeah, no, I start with it. It's it's fine. It's a row to dimension is uh, proportion to volume, and um, yeah. So the kind of what the basic example. Uh, want to keep in mind, if manifold is u1 cross u1, two-dimensional torus, uh, and you have coordinates f1 exponent i theta 1, phi 2 exponent of p theta 2, and Poisson bracket is, and form is d theta 1 times d theta 2 divided by 2 pi. Uh, uh, then uh, phi 1 hat uh, yeah, uh, when I put h bar equal to 1 over n, if n is an integer, then n will be dimension of Hilbert space. Uh, all formulas became exact, and phi, phi 1 is operator shift n by n operator, and phi 2 is operator 1 exponent 2 pi i over n. Okay, yeah, so this is the most basic example. Okay, so now we have uh, approximation by Hilbert spaces to of complex man of a symplectic manifold. Uh, now I'll go to this thing which I already mentioned several times as so this conference, it's shield uh, functional. It's something uh, for the following. Suppose we have a map from symplectic manifold to uh, uh, to uh, Riemannian manifold. Uh, and there is essentially only one function which you can write, uh, which is invariant on the sphinx. It's some quartic in derivatives. It's quartic in derivatives. And uh, let's assume that x is just Rn. n, uh, then we write the action, in map it's kind of like phi, or ps psi, I don't know. and then the action of psi, I will write the following way, it will be volume of my manifold multiplied by integral of manifold of omega, okay, to power d or d factorial, uh, multiplied by sum of I and j, I less than j, x i x j squared. Uh, uh, map is given by just collection. It's the same as collection of n function on my manifold m. And the x is the same as psi. Psi x is. Sorry. In the formula for the action, yes, psi, psi, psi might be the same as. Yeah, psi. Okay, yeah, maybe psi, psi. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want to know really by axis. Yeah. Okay. By x, maybe x, like, like this. Yeah. But you know, like, okay. Yeah. So that's that's the action. In um, why uh, why I wrote uh, this volume m if uh, d is equal to one. So a dimension of m is two. This thing is invariant under the rescaling of omega. Invariant under omega goes to constant times omega. Uh, yeah, it's, it's convenient. Square. Sir? Because of the square. V square, yeah, because it appears, uh, it's appears here the first uh, power, it's another first power, but here it appears t twice a negative degree. Okay. Yeah, so it's invariant under the square. And what is a quantum version? We just look on the formula. What is the bracket? What is, it, what is the integral? And it now I assume it's the time dimension 2. Dim uh, m is equal to 2. Uh, uh, then it's quantum version will be the following. It's you, you take, you replace volume by this formula, this integral by this formula. And eventually you get uh, the following things. You get minus 2 pi squared, uh, 3n, which can be written as trace of 1, 
times trace of some of R let J and X uh, it will be capital X X J squared will be will be quantizations of X I had. Yeah. Yeah, so I get this uh, so this uh, and this is action which uh, we'll study. Yeah, uh, now we can write uh, kind of uh, equation of motion. So critical points. Uh, critical points are, if you go in classical situation, there are of two types. Either, uh, suppose, uh, now speaking about surfaces only, either you map surface to curve arbitrary way and embed this curve to Rn. And you get zero thing here. You think it's always positive and get zero things. You get kind of degenerate critical points. Uh, uh, maybe you have manifold maps to curve and curve embedded to, uh, to Rn in arbitrary way. Yeah, so it's a pretty stupid huge class of critical points. And other things are minimal surfaces, if I'm not equation, and uh, the symplectic form will be proportional to pullback of volume element, but because action is uh, uh, scale invariant, so it's, uh, it doesn't matter. And actual minimal surfaces. And here's the critical value. Yeah, here for first example, uh, the critical value is zero, functional solves is negative, and here it will be area squared. It will be strictly positive. Mm. Value of the action on critical points, yeah. And this uh, uh, qu uh, quantum version is also always non-negative. And it also has kind of z uh, tr stupid critical points when all x i uh, simultaneously diagonalizable. It's analog of this flabby curves. But the rest, it's uh, analog of minimal surfaces. Yeah, and here there is a, a little uh, trouble. Uh, when can see, uh, we cannot have compact minimal surface in Rn. It either should have boundary, I don't know how to formulate theory, what does it mean, uh, minimal surface is boundary in its quantum analog. Uh, so there are mm, several ways out. Uh, either you consider non-compact minimal surfaces, and uh, this was example in uh, Joachim lecture of uh, quantum catenoid, and I, I will also show some even simple example. Or you can go tori as spheres, you can yeah, you can go on spheres. For example, you, you put or maybe ellipsoids. You put additional constraints, sum over x i square over r i square is equal to identity operator. Yeah, you can uh, put this constraint and study like th uh, the things like this. But uh, the trouble is that if you consider uh, ellipsoids, I don't know whether one can really analytically understand what are minimal surfaces. In, in, in ellipsoid, I don't know whether it's kind of solvable or not, it's some elliptic qu question, but can you kind of write formulas, I don't know, but there is a, a simpler case uh, uh, mapped to tori. And uh, yeah, so my talk will be essentially kind of various version of what are kind of will be maps to tori. So this is what you add with the fire. Yeah, why, why I mentioned this, uh, um, mm, something not clean yeah yeah uh, if you map to torus suppose you map to some torus r n to the n yeah you map your surface classically to to the torus uh, uh, in quantum case we will describe as collection of uh, n and unitary operators. But not, commuting. not commuting, yeah. Uh, and now we want to write something like uh, uh, commit uh, product of trace of uh, squares of logarithms. Logarithms are not really defined for unitary operators because the eigenvalues will be go all around, as we see from this example, there's no natural cut. Uh, so it will be how to replace uh, trace of log ui log uj squared. 
uh, th these guys will not uh, commute, but their commutators will be very small. You see, it's an example. The commutator has norm of something of one over n of h bar, and the naive idea is to replace uh, by the following uh, thing. Uh, the action will be again n, uh, this normalization constant, uh, we have meter to pi, times trace, uh, sum of i less than j. And instead of uh, making this guy, you write 2 times identity matrix minus, and uh, you do the following. You can see the ui, uj, u inverse, uj inverse. And minus inverse guy, minus uj, ui, uj inverse, ui inverse. This will be self adjoint operator, and it will be very close to 1 over n, and the trace of this guy multiplied by n uh, it will be. Mm. Positivity? It's positive, it's like cosine, yeah, it's, it's it, because when, when mm, uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, almost commute, you get some thinking, and you get some equation for motion. So uh, here we can make the following conjecture. This critical values when h bar goes to zero approximate critical values of, uh, uh, of actual uh, uh, minimal surfaces in Tori. And this is something which we can understand from algebraic geometry. Because minimal surfaces in Tori, they locally have various truss representation. And, uh, uh, and the description is the following. It's uh, mm, what is the minimal surface on the torus? Uh, this is uh, it's the same as a uh, Riemannian uh, complex curve. Yeah, suppose this M is C is embedded to to some torus around to some lattice. Uh, suppose a real torus, real torus, yeah, uh, uh, and. Uh, this can be described, suppose, just pro product of standard circles. One can go to arbitrary lattice, but for simplicity. Uh, if you get a complex curve, you get n uh, uh, holomorphic one forms. You can have abelian differentials. Mm -hmm. with, the property, with two equations, it's sum over ai squared is equal to zero as section of square of of quadratic, as quadratic differential, you get something like three g minus three equations if g is a genus curve, and then you get also uh, uh, conditions that integrals of a real part of alpha j belongs to integer. Yeah, and these things has, should have essentially unique solution because you get something like three g minus three. This is unique choice by uh, Riemann relations. Uh, if you choose homology classes, you get three minus g minus three conditions in the equation. You get also three g minus three conditions for a uh, curve, model space of curves, and you get so you should get kind of uh, nice finite set of this minimal surfaces, and they should have appear somehow as limits of critical points of mm, this guy. So the map in the curve is represented by these alpha. Uh, it's differentials, uh, differentials of a real part uh, will be uh, uh, angles. Uh, theta i will be uh, d of theta i three maybe divided by two two pi I don't know ah. maybe let me, let me just put here okay N yeah so that's uh, uh, yeah that's kind of nice but it's th you see that the equation is not really exact and here it's not uh, approximate cosine by uh, square and so it wasn't really terribly ha happy with it and about it, and I wanted something more exact. By the way, what is the meaning of shield? What our name? It's a name. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Proper, Proper name, yeah, of course. It's Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, just uh, let's return to original this uh, thing. Yeah, so we get sum over some constant times some trace of sum over x i x j squared. Yeah, and and consider equation for critical points. Uh, just for this uh, uh, quantum shield action, you get, of course, equation this double. Uh, Bracket equation for any i. Uh, yeah, Self-adjoint self -adjoint operators, yeah. You get this thing, and in compact case, it's, it shouldn't exist. It's in finite dimensional case, but in uh, that's and this is Young Mills algebra, as you know. And uh, uh, i it's from one to n, and the dimension of the target, and uh, the meaning is that, is that if you consider um, tri uh, trivial bundle on Rn and consider connection constant connection d plus square root of minus one sum over x i d I don't know x i you can see okay, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, get c constant connection uh, this is usual Young Mills equation for the constant connection because it's for constant connection derivative zero it's, it's a Young Mills section. Okay, uh, but uh, uh, we know that uh, supersymmetry teaches us that there is uh, it's kind of second order equation for, for connection, and there is first order equation, Hermitian Young Mills equation. It follows from Hermitian Young Mills. Uh, Hermitian Young Mills, uh, for the, uh, it's in the following situation. Suppose my dimension n is even, and my target space is. Is complex vector space. Uh, now, uh, Hermitian Young Mills equation uh, in, uh, in the usual geometry implies usual Young Mills equation. Here's this similar story. Uh, and now we, we can write complex coordinates zk is equal to xk plus square root of minus 1 xm plus k. We replace uh, 2m real uh, self adjoint by m just operators without any condition. And, uh, and I write uh, 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 kind of Hermitian uh, uh, algebra as the following way so that it's free algebra generated by it will be star algebra. Yeah, this is, by the way, it's also star algebra because I, say I can put uh, this condition. It's star algebra generated by m variables and m hat variables. And model the following relations. And the relations are the following. Or maybe I just write it here. Model relations. Uh, uh, first, uh, zi commute. And uh, also the uh, I hat commute. And uh, you have just one equation, sum of a commutator of the I hat, the I for I is equal to zero. Uh, you get this algebra. And then, uh, you if uh, treat uh, a real imaginary part, it will imply a relation for Young Mills equation, like Hermitian Young Mills implies usual Young Mills. You really want zero in the zi take a zi or constant? Uh, just a second, ah, yeah. For a moment zero, for a moment zero yeah. Uh, yeah. So these equations imply immediately uh, sum of j, uh, zj, zj cross, zi. Plus sum over j, z j cross, z j, z i is equal to zero for any i, and this is the same as Young Mills equation in uh, kind of uh, complex basis for real imaginary part. Yeah, so it's uh, and the meaning of Hermitian Young Mills equation is the following: you just consider uh, the same uh, the same story, consider connections, and. Uh, 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 
kind of meaning if you consider a, tr a trivial bundle on CM and write the same connection, it will be uh, condition that ZI commute implies that it's holomorphic, uh, 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 that means that F02 is equal to, to 0. And uh, this condition, sum of the i bar hat the i, implies that uh, f f11 multiplied by omega Mackeller form to power m minus one is equal and is equal to zero. And this is exactly uh, Yankel's equation from um, kind of donaldson ulbeck yau theorem. One can kind of uh, make little generalizations. Uh, first of all. This thinks it's not necessary. Zero, it could be constant, a real constant, and also uh, the i not necessary commute But again, uh, uh, you get some complex constants. You can make kind of quantum space instead of usual space. But uh, again, uh, this will be kind of central extension. It will be huge algebra. It's a little bit like free algebra in some direction. It's some certainly algebra, and it maps to um, uh, uh, Young-Mills algebra. And there is kind of very pretty neat case when m equal 2. Uh, it means that n is equal to 4. And let's c equal 0, cij is equal to 0. Uh, then we get three equations in terms of real uh, real imaginary part uh, x four x three x one x four x three x one x two. Ah, so it's pretty nice Lie algebra with four generators and four uh, three relations. It's called Bunker's Zyber Schenker equations. And uh, again, because it can't have finite dimensional representation because there's no compact minimal surfaces, but one can make a kind of unitary analog of it. And unitary version is, is the following one. You consider, and this things already should have many solutions. You get four unitary matrices and write. Equation for you replace commutant by, or maybe it's like u1 matrices, u1, u4. <coughs> u4, u1, u4 inverse, u1 inverse is equal to u2, u3, u2 inverse, u3 inverse, etc. So you get some uh, nice group which is invariant under action of A4, which is uh, even, even permutation. And it looks like by one of some certain three-dimensional manifold. Mm -hmm. Because you get four generations and three relations, one less. It's, uh, it, uh, yeah. And such things typically, like for dimensional group, has, should have isolated representation. So it's, I think it's kind of really nice group, which cap will capture <laughs> uh, minimal surfaces in, uh, in the product uh, when large limit, when the product in this, you can see the Gaussian integer elliptic curve squared. And it is hard, this three-dimensional manifold? No, I tried. I, 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 no, it looks it's it has one credit duality. Uh, like a non-covariant or something? Like no, it should be closed manifold. Okay. It should be closed manifold. It, I think it has one credit duality and, yeah, so it's some kind of pretty... Um, uh, uh, Need group, yeah. So, uh, mm, what else I can say? Yeah. Uh, Still, I'm not totally happy about these uh, groups because uh, uh, 
I have right equation, but I don't know what is the action, for example, mm -hmm. uh, because it's always kind of approximate and uh, is other really minimal surfaces. I, uh, I don't know. Mm. S uh, so, l so what here goes on? Uh, ah, why, why actually I mentioned use this Hermitian and Gilles algebra? It was some kind of simple equation which implies a kind of first order equation which implies second order equation. And if you think about of terms of minimal surfaces, there is also first order equation. Uh, and consider holomorphic curves implies second order equation, minimal surfaces. Because a, in Keller manifold, any complex curve is a minimal surface. Yeah, so it's a minimal surface. So, so it's kind of a uh, dual version of this. Uh, relation and uh, now returning to original uh, question, not in Tori, can we have kind of suppose we get a, co uh, a complex curve in let's see C to C, C M yeah suppose we have complex curve that's algebraic curve uh, it's not compact and I should compact, uh, quantize by some infinite dimensional space. And uh, um, in particular, uh, and so it so should solve some infinite dimensional space when you get this equation. And uh, because it's complex, it should solve even simple equation. Yeah, so that's, there is a question about such objects. Uh, uh, and it will be simpler than minimal surfaces in R3, like catenoids, uh, which we have now explicit example, but pretty complicated one. And last, uh, maybe two weeks, two weeks ago, uh, uh, we discussed with uh, Jens and uh, real I realized that there is very, very basic and simple example which was kind of overlooked in literature. It will be simplest possible minimal surface, non-compact minimal surface, and it will be uh, simplest possible quantization. So, so the curve which I will take will be hyperbola. Oh, by the way, just before uh, writing uh, uh, example, I, I would write a write equation. What a Hermitian and Mills equation? You should have some Hilbert space. Which is con should contains like uh, functions on my curve, polynomial functions, or maybe sections of some line bundle. As operators or as a subspace. A subspace. A subspace, yeah. And it will be is, uh, and uh, coordinates in my space should x on my Hilbert space. It will be not self-adjoint operators. They commute. And satisfy the same relation as uh, like in the Batman presentation. Yeah, yeah, no, the commute. Yeah, the, yeah, they satisfy the same relation that in C, and the, the equation means that sum of commutants is equal to constant. Yeah, that's that's the equation. Yeah, yeah. So how to solve this equation? And example is very simple. First, f the simplest non-trivial example: the curve is C star C to C squared. Uh, so here we get coordinates z1, z2, and it's given by equation z1 times z2 is equal to 1. Hyperbola. Complex, actually. Complex, sir? So? Yeah, from real point of view, it's some two dimensional surface in R4, and it's minimal because it's scalar geometry. And now maybe put it h bar here. Uh, so, uh, so we should, um, um, I can write z1 as z. Z2 is the inverse. Yeah, so we should solve this equation. Sum of a commutator of Z hat, Z is some uh, self adjoint, not self adjoint, some operator with Z plus commutator Z inverse hat, Z inverse is equal to H bar. Uh, the whole story is invariant under rotation under U1. And algebra functions has basis uh, by integers. So the basis of H well, will be some. Vectors, EK, VK is an integer. It will be unitary basis. And operator Z will be 
goes to from uk goes to some constant times ek plus one where ck is positive number yeah Sorry? You said H contains OC, but now it's... It will be dense, yeah, because it's Hilbert space, and this oh. is countable space. That's, that's the point, yeah. So we should make some completion. And uh, when we write this equation... But you mean dense. So, okay. It will be completion of... Yes, OC is dense in H. Days, yeah, and apparatus multiplication will go to some unbounded operators with some common domain, blah, blah, blah. And, so, and when we write this equation, we get... Uh, Something like this. And this is very easy to solve. So if we see that it's this equal to kh plus some constant, I don't know, some kind of alpha, alpha real. And uh, then ck is unique posi a real solution, positive real solution of these things, which is you take. Solve quadratic equation, yeah, which is yeah. So you get explicit formula for the solution. So it's yeah. So that's uh, the most basic uh, example. And alpha is arbitrary. Alpha arbitrary constant, but actually defined up to uh, uh, h bar z. So it, it's actually a small circle which parameterized. Uh, all solutions, it's not a unique solution, and I don't. I think it's related to uh, the fact that the curve has no trivial first homology. It, it's kind of I put kind of line bundle maybe secretly on this situation. Uh, yeah, I don't really understand the meaning of this one parameter, and but then it turns out that this thing was kind of known 20 years ago. Uh, there was a, a work by Washington Taylor and. Cornalba in about 20 years ago, when they uh, solve, they found the same thing, but for parabola. Parabola, and the question is more complicated. One cannot solve in increased closed form, so they, they missed uh, the <coughs> most basic example. But I think it uh, ex uh, exists. It's just just one paper by Taylor and Cornalba, and actually, I think it's pretty interesting question of direct geometry. You have curve in CN. Uh, and there should be some more or less canonical Hilbert space structure uh, satisfying this equation, which I uh, mm. have really no idea how to prove. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, in fact, this equation appears um, uh, in different uh, contexts. Uh, 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 it, it, uh, I think it's in the work of Nikita Nikrasov. Uh, yeah, so here we get a module over the algebra of functions, which uh, functions on a curve, uh, algebra of polynomials, but uh, functions on a curve. So its model is very, very thin, and it's torsion model. And he uh, considers the same question to find um, Hilary space completion for completely different modules. You can see the functions like an in C square, when she gets few points. It will be not a vector bundle, it will be torsion free shift. And on torsion free shift, usually one cannot solve Young Mills equation, does it make sense? And here it was some kind of uh, regularization of Young Mills equation for, uh, sh uh, for mm, uh, uh, torsion free shift. But here it's a torsion shift, and it also makes sense. And if you put constant zero, you get finite dimensional presentations like all points. Yeah, so it's kind of very sobric and algebraic geometry can cover this canonical Hermitian uh, uh, metric. Yeah, yeah, so the subject was started in this paper, and there was one continuation by Carnalba, who, who was a student of Washington Taylor, which is very close related to what also I kind of uh, uh, want to tell you right now, but not equivalent. I think he, what I will say is it will be kind of slightly better, uh, really more satisfactory version. Uh,
Yeah, now we go back to Torrey. Uh, so I explained that uh, uh, in Torrey there should be plenty of minimal surfaces. And now there is this uh, uh, supersymmetry, so it should be holomorphic curves in complex Torrey, in complex abelian varieties. And there are plenty of such. Uh, curves and this, this examples minimal sources and this satisfies this first order equation, kind okay, of not second order equation. Mm, how to mm, write this thing? Uh, uh, I, I will present you a construction. We get holomorphic curve in complex abelian varieties, then for each we get a Hilbert space depending on maybe which bar parameter, which bar is kind of roughly 1 over n, of dimension is n plus some uh, kind of sequence of big vector space on which acts plus action of almost commuting unitary operators. Uh, will be, if my abelian variety is Cm over gamma, it will be 2m, 2m unitary operators which not exactly commute. Uh, and uh, this will be, uh, I don't know wh which set equations they satisfy, but at least it looks uh, very natural. So what, what is the picture? And uh, the story, so we get this curve sitting in this variety. Let's go to universal cover of the billion variety. So we'll go to CM, and we go to certain cover, uh, which will be, uh, kind of like infinite periodic picture, like what we saw this morning uh, in a talk of uh, Martin Bordeman. Yeah, kind of <laughs> multiply periodic uh, surface. And then we can try to uh, think in the following way. Uh, so we, uh, when we try to quantize C, uh, first we quantize C hat and in a way which is compatible with shift operators. So we, what we should have here. Uh, um, uh, first, uh, first of all, we should have infinite dimensional space. And the abelian variety is not necessarily the Jacobian. No, 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 no. Uh, so we should have infinite dimensional space, uh, uh, which will correspond to this non-compact, huge non-compact curve. Uh, and on this space, we should ha should have the solution of Hermitian Mills equation. Should should have uh, z i. I get the same equation from one to m equal to zero. Say, I get uh, uh, this this condition. But then also we get shifts by a lattice. And we get operators u one, u to m, commuting unitary operators, which are shifts. And uh, so ui, uj is uj, ui. And if we conjugate, uh, uh, maybe called something like alpha beta, it's uh, because they're completely different indices, alpha beta from 1 to, to m. And we then consider ui, zi, ui inverse, you should get zi plus some constant e i alpha, it's inclusion of lattice in a CM. You get 2m by m matrix. Let's set them to m by m matrix, complex matrix. OK. Or maybe I don't need it. This example. Sorry? No, no, z is, uh, z, z is a coordinates on Cm. Yeah, z1, Zm are coordinates, kind of classical uh, coordinates on Cm. And uh, this will uh, have, uh, have shifts, yeah. And it's actually a well-known observation in all the story. If you look on this, how we can interpret it? Uh, you get Hilbert space with action of commuting operators. You get a vector bundle on a torus. And this z alpha gives you a connection here. And what this gives? It gives a solution of usual Young-Mills equation for holomorphic bundles on a torus. So h bar will be c infinity section of some torus. It will be actually a dual torus. 
uh, with certain un uh, Hermitian vector bundle E, and uh, this uh, apparatus uh, uh, U i will be coordinates on the torus, and Z i will be uh, uh, connection matrices. Before there were coordinates, now it became uh, derivatives. Yeah, so Z i goes to covariant derivatives. Uh, for uh, completely classical uh, young, uh, Hermitian young Bill's equation, which should exist by Donaldson Lubeck Yao on stable bundle. Yeah, so the question, but uh, this is a dual torus. And how we construct a bundle on a dual torus? And there are things called Fourier Mukai transform. Uh, namely, we get curve sitting in a billion variety, it's a curve, and we get some inclusion, we get, as you see, it's a coherent shift on a billion variety. And now you make Fourier Mukai transform, which is very simple, you get vector bundle on dual variety, what you do, you, uh, op, uh, you make a line bundle parameterized by dual variety, restrict to the curve and take global sections. And you put Planck constant to make a power of the things. So you get by Fourier Mukai. You are in the sense of duality for Abelian variety. Varieties, yeah. yeah. Because it's dual torus, you get Fourier Mukai. And if you are in a good situation, you get vector bundle, holomorphic vector bundle on dual variety, which will be our original, uh, my original same with gamma. Yeah. Uh, so I get a bundle and I put again Planck constant in the game and the rank of the bundle will grow linearly. Uh, so I can take pick a point on this, uh, my, my uh, thing. Ah, just before, before I go on, so, so what I should do, I, I kind of mm, make he, he, um, a holomorphic equator bundle and now I should solve here Michelin and Gilles equation, I don't know actually how by Fourier Mokai transform to solve this Hermitian Gilles equation. Maybe it's known, but at least it's well posed question, and I get the representation of this algebra immediately. Now I pick a point. Uh, now I pick a point in my dual torus. And point, it means that it will be eigenvalue of my, uh, some eigenvectors of, of uh, uh, choose eigenvalues for my commuting unit operators. So, I fix eigenvalues for commuting unit operators. Uh, and I claim there will be still some new operators commuting with them. And what are, what are they? It's not ZI. ZI do not commute with them. But you can see the certain linear combinations of a, r a real imagined part of ZI. I have to take uh, in normal sense, Hermitian and Hermitian part. A certain linear combinations uh, will satisfy this by things that if you apply all shifts, you get here integers. Commutator is U alpha, belongs to 2 pi i integers. And now we can take exponent of this linear combination, you get some unitary operators. Yeah, so you get on finite dimensional space, which will be fiber of my bundle, you get a bunch of non not commuting unitary operators. And I think it's really kind of ideal situation. Um, that will should be should correspond to um, this uh, uh, quantization of a curve in a billion variety. And uh, there is uh, still something which I don't understand in all this uh, story. Which is the following. Uh, for uh, mm. there is things called BPS inequalities in physics, which uh, for uh, um, which have two meaning like young mean action of of some uh, any connection is bounded below by some integral of second term class. And equality, it means that you have Hermitian in this equation. Uh, and, 
Yeah, and this similar story if you get a, 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 a curve, you get, when you get surface, then this area, and suppose you get surface uh, which has homology class of some complex curve. Uh, uh, then the area is great equal to int absolute value of integral of Keller form of this <coughs> surface. And you get a calibration uh, condition, you get equality if you know if the curve is complex, the surface is complex curve. Yeah, so I would like to have some notion of degree here. Uh, and Mm. Degree is actually something pretty funny. So we want a de degree which sits in the H2 of my target space, torus, say, the Z coefficient. Uh, uh, okay, let's try to think first on classical example. Suppose we get map from surface, uh, symplectic surface, to, to torus, to two-dimensional torus, and uh, degree F, and degree which is just two, S1 valued function and degree is equal to 1 over 2 pi squared integral of Poisson bracket. Yeah. Mm. Now, uh, um, now we replace by two unitary matrices instead of two things. There's no surface, it's still two unitary matrices. And suppose the commutant is less than constant divided by n. It's like happens in for this generation of quantum torus. When you get identical map of degree one, so you get uh, such thing. So. And, and it's si and, and, and capital N is size of matrices. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, that's a regime when we study limits and we want to get a minimal uh, whatever surfaces. Yeah, so the degree is defined in the following way. It's a kind of uh, lemma. If you get just two almost commuting uh, unitary matrices, then trace of u1, u2 inverse, u2, u1 inverse, u2 inverse minus 1 is equal to 2 pi i some integer plus O1, the k is integer, and k is less than constant divided by 2 pi. C is the same constant which appear here. One with respect to a capital N, of course. The error term. Sir? The error term, as the old one. No, it's O of 1 when, H, when N goes to infinity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah so it's, and this will be called a degree. A degree of, uh, of my quantum surface. Uh, this is a kind of means there is some kind of continuity of the map, and then it will be a degree. And why is this? It's it's extremely easy. It's kind of one line proof. You know that this operator has determined one, yeah, and has eigenvalues lambda one, lambda n. But eigenvalues by this condition very close to. Uh, to C over N. Yeah. So it means that eigenvalues are close, uh, uh, sits in a very small uh, 
uh, disk around one, and one can have canonical log logarithm. So its xi will be exponent, actually the numbers equal to one, exponent of i squared of one, one theta i. And then we get the theta, sum of theta i is equal to two pi i integer, because product is equal to one. It's two, two, two pi integer. And this is a, d a differ from, this is a quadratic term, so it will be of one. Yeah, so get this notion of degree for map to the uh, torus. And similar thing one can, uh, in, in fact, if one analyze the story, it's not necessary to be so smooth map to, to this commutator very close to one. It's enough, uh, not for this statement, but to, d to define the degree, enough to assume that uh, this commutator, the spectrum, doesn't contain one number, minus one. It's, uh, then you can get a uh, canonical choice of our argument of logarithm and then we define so, uh, uh, this degree. So, this, so it means it's a set of pairs of unitary matrices that commutator does have anti invariant elements, has many, many comp connected components which are degrees. And uh, similar thing. Uh, one can map M to, not to torus, by S2. So I don't no longer speak about minimal surfaces. Yeah, so you get something like X1 squared plus X2 squared plus X3 squared. Yeah, suppose, suppose you get, uh, if you get such map, uh, then degree is equal 1 over 5 for pi integral over X1, X2, X3 plus cyclic order. Yeah, we get uh, this thing. And uh, the same kind of quantum analog of the story. If you get three Hermitian matrices, and again, I assume that if consider any commutants, I get operator norms less than constant over n, uh, then trace of x1 I just take first term here, they all give the same trace, is, below, is equal to 2 uh, square root of minus 1 over 3 times integer plus 1, okay, is an integer, and again bounded by 3 half over c. So it will be degree of map to the torus. Yeah, so it's kind of nice. I think it's, I think it's something about C star algebra. When you play, put this inequality, you can generate C star algebra, and it will be some class on topological case series, very free style. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, it's actually, it's very easy to prove. One can make some projector and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, this, uh, so there's something yet unfinished in this story. Uh, I, could, I could really have to eventually to make this inequality that this action is greater than square of area and blah, 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 but. So do you prove the inequality, BPS inequality? No, no, not yet, no, no, no. Define the right hand side. Yeah, I define right hand side, but maybe I don't define left hand side. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, but at least I know what a minimal surface is, yeah. Okay, okay that's, that's it, thank you. Thanks very much. Questions, comments? Um, maybe uh, it will not be phrased in the language of minimal surfaces that you are discussing. But so the action which you have is the bump plaquette action for young new theory. Sir? That action. This? No, this one plaquette. One plaquette. Ah, it's kind of like discrete. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a good. And then if you consider the integral, you want yeah. yeah. the partition function yeah. with that action. Yeah. That has been studied and evaluated at large n. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now that has an, uh, uh, that large n answer can be obtained by a stationary yeah. method, meaning there is a configuration u one, u two, yeah. so that it gives you the large n value yeah. of that integral. Yeah. Is that uh, related to your solution? Any, any I don't know. No, no, I'm thinking about only classical, not taking um, integral of uh, x one to x. Solutions uh, dominate uh, partition functions, yeah. you know, stationary phase method. Yeah, so, so yeah. you can do classical. It can, yeah. I can take to use it for evaluating the stationary yeah. point of the integral. Yeah, that's the use of classical. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Now this answer is known. Yeah, yeah.
No, no, I think I, I, I don't think I'm telling many new things here, <laughs> just... No, no, I meant the answer of the configuration U1, U2, which yeah, yeah. gives the stationary phase answer. Yeah. No. But actually, it was one of the origin of the conference. I <laughs> just, I thought this got these, these formulas we were discussing, uh, that, that, I mean, in, in, in physics, they are also known. Yeah, this is what we can call the master field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, one small comment, um, yeah. maybe some more questions, yeah. otherwise, uh, the, this, this paper by Washington Taylor and Con Conalba is actually quite funny. It's written in Princeton, um, the classic, they don't use ever in 37 page paper the word minimal surface, yeah. although the thing they describe is a quantum analog of the mineral surfaces that were found 100 years ago in Princeton by Eisenhardt, <laughs> famous differential geometer. And um, yeah, and I don't, it's not clear why they missed the simple example. They, they, yeah. they, work, they have one prime example, that's this parabola. Yeah. And it's pretty complicated. You, yeah, it's so far, not no exact solution. And they do mention these Bergman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, Carnal wrote a paper when he uh, do, uh, has done essentially the same things, but he used a uh, Bergman projection, and I think it's kind of not less canonical than what I was describing. Yes, it's mm -hmm. yeah. Question, comments? Yeah. 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 Okay, so okay. day two is over. No, okay. not yet. It, it's a, it's a, thanks, okay. uh, Maxim, for the. Okay. Uh,